Washington tonight, where thousands are braving the cold, marching and demanding lawmakers do something to keep tragedies like the one in Newtown, Connecticut, from happening again. Among them, families from that community who made the trip to the nation's capital. And tonight, another development in this debate over guns, a famous author pulling his book from the store shelves after it was discovered that 14 shooters had his book right along with their arsenal. Here's ABC's Rena Nyman in Washington tonight. They called it the silent rally. But they had one unified message that brought them to Washington. You want to ban them, assault weapons? They came from all over the country with the intention of preventing this. Grace McDonald was one of the Sandy Hook victims. Her parents sat in the audience as the White House embarks on one of the most extensive gun control efforts ever. The initiative, a ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines, universal background checks, additional mental health services. Author Stephen King pulling his book Rage about a high school student who guns down faculty members, published in 1977 under a pseudonym. Four different teens who committed school shootings had copies of the book. You don't leave a can of gasoline where a boy with firebug tendencies can lay hands on it. And Congress members vowing to take the NRA head on. The gun lobby can be stopped, my friends. Voices in the crowd taking the first steps in a long push to reform the nation's gun control laws. As the protesters dispersed today, they looked ahead to Wednesday, the first congressional hearings for legislation on gun control. The head of the NRA, Wayne LaPierre, and the husband of Gabby Giffords, Mark Kelly, will testify.